The views and opinions expressed on Coach Chappie's Corner are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of Woosa Studios, its management, or other hosts or advertisers. The shows produced by Woosa Studios can promote any lifestyle, belief, religion, political affiliation, or other personal practice. These shows are for entertainment purposes only and might include strong themes, images, sex, or language that may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. In the interest of your safety, it is important to check with your physician before beginning any exercise program and to exercise according to your fitness level and capabilities. If you have any questions, please seek the guidance of a wellness, fitness, or health professional. My name is Coach Chapi Calianta. I'm a strength and conditioning specialist and the head coach and program director of the 360 Fitness Clubs. I've been in the industry for 12 years working as a speaker, trainer, and coach. My mission? Make the world a fitter place one person at a time. I do that through my gyms, my blog, and now through this show. This is Coach Chappie's Corner. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Coach Chappie's Corner. My name is Coach Chappie. We're gonna get started with today's workout of the day. And we're gonna today we'll be focusing on preparatory lifts to improve on your snatch lift. So the snatch is one of the Olympic lifts, the other one being clean and jerk, which will help you develop power and get your lean muscle if you do it properly. So I'm gonna show you four exercises that you can do to improve on the snatch and to get that weight up with this lift. Let's go! We start off with a high pull drill. Pull the weight up towards the chin with the elbows going up and back and rising up on your toes. Next we do overhead squats. Always remember when doing squats, put your ass all the way to the grass and try to go as low as you can. Then we do snatch balances. Snatch balances get you moving into the right snatch stance, pushing the weight up and squatting down low, as low as you can and as fast as you can. Develop power and speed. Finally, we do hang snatches. Lower the bar until it reaches just above the knees and then pull up violently, going up into the snatch position. Try doing these preparatory drills the next time, right before you do your snatch routines. Coming up next, the guys and girls of CrossFit Mad Minute take on a Chappie Challenge. Okay guys, before we go to the conclusion of the Chappie Challenge, it's time for Ask Chappie, where I answer all their fitness, diet, and health related concerns right here on the show. Let's get right to it with the first question coming from a Twitter from user James Zara. He asks, Coach, what brand of protein powder do you recommend and when's the best time to consume it? Thanks. Okay, so uh, the second question first, when's the best time to consume it? You can consume half of the serving before and then half after. Or if you want to get a little bit more aggressive, you can have one serving before and one serving after. But this also, um, it's dependent on how is your meal before the workout. If you haven't had any food three, two to three hours before the workout, then I suggest taking a whey supplement 30 minutes uh, before the workout, one whole serving. Now if you want to build some muscle, take another one right after your workout to uh, take advantage of the muscles that just opened up while you're working out. Okay, protein right after the workout, and that's the best way to uh, gain muscle. Now in terms of the brand, I only take Herbalife uh, 24. They're 24 line, but unfortunately it's not even available here in the country. But I heard they're going to be offering it soon, maybe in a couple of months. So Herbalife 24, check it out on the websites. And next question comes from my former player and the UPIS in your Maroons, Juanito Gregorio over at Facebook. Coach, enough na ba yung push-ups and core workouts? Mga two months na po ako hindi nag weights. Okay, so, no, you're an athlete. You need more conditioning drills. 
you need to start lifting weights. I think you're already in college, right? Alito? So you try to lift more weights. Uh, do some squats, do some deadlifts. Uh, push-ups are good, and then, but if you want to progress some push-ups, add some weight uh, on your back so that you can progress properly. You can also do bench presses or chest presses, but I actually prefer push-ups with weights uh, you know, compared to bench presses. So you need to add a little bit more in your regimen. Uh, just make sure you get the squats, lunges, especially in basketball, you need that. Deadlifts to, inc uh, to increase your vertical jump. And also add some vertical presses in your workout as well. All right, last question for the day comes from Crystal Espolgar, also from Facebook. Hello coach, I'm 42 kilos in weight. Wow, super thin. I'm thin but I love to jog and I'm jogging only if I have extra time from work. I want to have, oh, okay. She wants to increase the size of her glutes or her butt and her legs. What workout should I do? Okay, to increase the size of your glutes, or, well, I don't like increasing the size, but more toning the glutes and the legs. Uh, the go-to exercises will be kettlebell swings, because again, this is the workout or the lift that really in, uh, includes your glutes and your hamstrings in the lift. Uh, if you don't want to do kettlebell swings, if you're scared of kettlebells, do lunges and do hinges, like uh, the deadlift variations. But if you can get your hands on the kettlebell, kettlebell swings, try to go for 20 reps in a weight that you can carry, do that for 3 to 4 sets every day and you should be good. You will feel your glutes starting to form in a couple of weeks. Alright, so check it out. Okay guys, that's all the time we have for Ask Shappy. Remember to hit me up through Twitter at Shappy Galanta and use the hashtag Ask Shappy if you have any more questions and I'll read them out on the show. Before we go to the conclusion of the Chappy Challenge, I'd like to introduce to you a new product that our friends from Herbalife Philippines launched in the market a couple of weeks back. And it's called Extra Cal Advanced. It's their new calcium and vitamin D supplement that's supposed to help you have healthy bones and healthy teeth to last you through longer years. It has 100% of your daily values that you need for vitamin D and calcium. It goes straight into the bloodstream towards the bones and the teeth which need it the most. Guys, if you're still young and you're wondering why don't you need calcium, you need to start young because studies have shown that younger guys and younger, younger women are having a hard time in terms of having to try to have healthy bones. So uh, load up on vitamin D, load up on calcium while it's early to last you through your longer years. If you want to look and act like a young man or woman, even when you're 50 and six or 60, then this is the calcium supplement for you. If you want to order, just hit up Herbalife in the truck line 555-2828 to order there. Again, 100% of your daily vitamin D and calcium needs right there in extra calendars. Three simple pills, take them with your meals and you're good to go for the day. And then just a short disclaimer, this product's not intended for to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. We're going to go straight back now to the conclusion of the Chappie Challenge. Okay guys, so that was Ask Chappie. Thank you for all of your questions. Again, if you have any questions, hit me up over to the reviews to ask that Ask Chappie. Okay, now it's time for the Chappie Challenge and it's going to be a big one. We're going to do a CrossFit Chappie Challenge. <laughs> but, yes, a CrossFit Challenge. And we have, again, the guys who know it's a CrossFit Challenge. So I think I've talked to you guys about the work on that, right? Yes, yes, I know what to do. So it's going to be three barbell complexes for time, and let's see who can do this the fastest. Alright, guys, let's go. Okay, guys, they're ready. We have Kevin over here on the right. We have RJ in the middle. We have Ivy on the left. Okay, we're going to start the challenge, challenge in 10 seconds. Nine, eight, here we go. We're going to start with hand snatches.
There we go. Let's go, guys. After the push hurts, bent over rows, eight reps. Art is in the lead. Oh no, actually Irene. Now we move. One-legged RDL. Touch the floor with every rep. Nice one. That's it. Bring five on each leg. Let's go, hands after that. RJ and Irene both in the hand cleans. Kevin not far behind. Move on. Thrusters, five reps. Almost done. Here we go, here we go, we're almost done. <laughs> Five thrusters. And after that, you're just gonna walk. It's close, it's close. Push. Move, move. So he reaches the cone. And you're done. Nice, nice. Good job. Go, go. Go, go. Not far behind these two. Keep moving. Go, Irene. Let's go, man. Up, 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 up. <laughs> all the way, all the way. Put it down. Nice. Nice one. Good job. Go, Kevin's here. And stop. Nice one. Good job, guys. Good job. <laughs> Good job, guys. Okay, you guys can now the track And the winner for this track is, of course, Coach RJ. Good job. Coach, thanks. Nice one. And of course, we were also for Ivy. You can tell it. You can tell it. You can tell it. But you can give me second. Don't disrespect me. But still, oh, that's, pretty, that's pretty impressive. Okay, we have here uh, Kyle uh, from Force Plus Tech Lab Do we have any more Kyle? Yeah, sure. Force Kyle, we're Force Kyle from Russell Tech Lab And he's actually the marketing guy uh, uh, of this group of CrossFit boxes. I think you have, how many reps do you have? Uh, we have three, and then we're going to have a uh, fourth one by, for the end of the year. Cool, cool. So, what are the other brands aside from the CrossFit Lab? So, uh, aside from this one in your class suite, we have one in the CrossFit Insurrecto that's in Tomas Marado Avenue. Uh, we also have one just open just today. Uh, that's CrossFit Green Hills at Annapolis Street. Just today, yeah. Yeah, just today. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, that's basically the boxes we have okay. right now. Okay, cool. For those people wondering what exactly is CrossFit, can you guys explain in about three seconds? Okay, so CrossFit uh, is a system for uh, building general physical preparedness. It's a strength and conditioning system. Uh, where we don't uh, specialize in just strength training or just endurance training. Uh, our, what our main goal is to try to build the most uh, well-rounded athlete. So we do strength training with barbells and with gymnastics uh, work. Also we do uh, a lot of uh, what we call metabolic conditioning. Uh, cardio in the three different uh, pathways. You have your very short, intense uh, workouts. You have your 
mid-range, uh, yeah. like a stamina, yeah. where you feel the pump and more, uh, more of the longer workouts also. Okay. So also we work on um, flexibility, okay. uh, because it's very important for your health uh, in the long term. Also, uh, your coordination, so we don't just keep on adding weights, adding weights. We try to also uh, make the movements themselves a little bit more uh, challenging from a coordination standpoint so that you're focused on the workout, you're focused on keeping your posture, uh, and you're training your mind, your body, uh, basically you're creating a well-rounded effort. That's interesting. Uh, a lot of things I've heard there. One thing I've heard was GPT and now people were screaming. Oh yeah, that's right. here. <laughs> and, that's about the fairness. and you see it in the videos, these guys and they really know how to use your bodies. They know how to, you know, use it and lift weights and all of these things that they can do. It seemed actually easy for them because they actually really do things every day. I mean, being the only girl in this challenge, would you say the process is also for the ladies? Oh well, yeah, I mean, well, generally, like, in our culture, women are usually the weak ones. Yeah. But I find right now, like, the new theme going on is that strong is really sexy. Yeah. So it, it's really cool to actually perform up to par or even be stronger than the guys. It gives you that, that felt confidence, like, yeah, I can really, I can really do that. Yeah, that's awesome. That's yeah. amazing. Okay, so again, CrossFit's for everyone. If you guys want to try it out, these guys are with the CrossFit lab and know what they're doing, know what they're talking about. Yeah, uh, Pat, how do we actually do that? If you want to try it. Uh, if you want to try CrossFit, uh, you can check us out at our Facebook page uh, for CrossFit Mad Minute, just CrossFitMadMinute.com. For CrossFit Instructor, it's just CrossFitInstructor.com. And finally, Greenhills, CrossFitGreenhills.com. There you go guys, again if you want to try CrossFit, if you want to train like these guys, it will be really great to what they do. Again, come here to CrossFit in minute or any of the practice that I want to talk to you. Again, my name is Coach Chat. We hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Coach Chat this quarter. I'll see you guys next week and remember that fitness is not a chore, it's a choice. Thanks very much. Thank you. <laughs> Alright.